It's just something so cool about these little streams. One of my favorite places to fish. What is it? It feels pretty decent. Actually, it feels really decent. What the hell is it? Oh my god, you guys, it's a freaking big walleye. Oh my god, no way. No freaking way. It is a freaking giant walleye. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I'm extremely excited to bring you this video today. So I'm gonna be hitting this little river here. I tried, I came here two years ago and I did pretty well on here for some smallmouth, some uh, pike, and I think that was probably it. Actually largemouth too. One largemouth and then some smallmouth and pike. And then last year I tried to come out here a couple times but this road was closed because they were redoing this bridge and I was not able to fish out here. So I'm coming back this year, the bridge is done. I'm able to get out here again. Um, it's a nice, small, uh, slow-moving river, and I'm going to take the paddleboard out there today. I got a couple rods with here, tangled up in the other ones. Damn it, get out of there. All right, so I got my two little ultralight setups here. I got a Meps little wolf spoon, then I got a little Moxie with a jig head. Got some backup lures just in case. I got this little crankbait. I have a little spinnerbait. I got a little MEPS. I got some big bite baits, flying squirrels. Putting on my fanny pack here. This is very stylish fanny pack. Great for keeping gear in. I got some Helgramites from Bass Pro Shops. And let's see, I got a couple more. A couple little spinner baits. A little uh, lipless crank, a little tube jig, and a couple little like feather underspins. So this is like a micro creek fishing day. Smaller lures, uh, light spinning gear. I'm gonna go out, have a blast, hopefully, and hopefully catch some nice fish on this little on this little river. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Here we are, absolutely beautiful. Hopefully I don't run into any damn snakes down here. Looks like the coast is clear. All right. There's one. All right. What is it? It feels pretty decent. Actually, it feels really decent. What the hell is it? Oh my God, you guys, it's a freaking big walleye. Oh my God, no way. No freaking way. It is a freaking giant walleye. Wow. Oh my god. No freaking way. No freaking way. Holy Christ, guys. This is this is amazing. 
Oh my God, it's massive. It is freaking absolutely massive, guys. Oh my God, my freaking heart is pumping so freaking hard. Oh my God. Oh my good Lord. Oh, this thing is huge, huge. God, please tell me there's no sticks or something I can get wrapped up in. Get up here. Why did I not bring the damn net? Are you kidding me? Come on. Wow. Look at that fish, guys. Look at that fish. God, this is making me nervous. There's some logs and stuff he can get into. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. That a freaking fish. Oh, my God. Yes. Quit it. Quit thrashing. I, I just want to take you off real quick. Oh, my God. Oh. Yes. Oh. Are you freaking joking me, guys? Are you freaking joking me? Oh, my God. I'm shaking. Get me out of these trees. Get me out of these freaking trees. Oh. This... This definitely needs a picture right here. Oh my freaking God, you guys. So amazing. Are you freaking kidding me? There it is. Just gotta poke it out of the top of his mouth without getting some teeth marks in my mouth. Don't, please don't bite down, buddy. I see the hook right there. There it is. Look at that freaking fish, you guys fishing this tiny river on the moxie oh my god what a nice freaking fish let's get a quick measurement on her and send her back on freaking real guys on freaking real all right here is the measuring stick stay freaking straight you dumb thing good lord all right whatever we're just gonna go from there mouth closed this thing is so thick. Wow. Um, right to there. Get your tail straight, please. Yep, I know, I know. 27 and a quarter. 27 and a quarter inches, guys. Unbelievable fish, you guys. Un-freaking believable. One more quick picture on the phone, and she's going back. Oh, yes. Watch this, guys. Watch her. What a beautiful fish. There she goes. There she freaking goes. I'm going to stay with her. That was a decent amount of fight, and I had her out of the water for a little bit. She's under the board now. And she's gone. Can't see her anywhere. Freaking amazing, you guys. Freaking absolutely freaking amazing, you guys. I cannot believe it. Man, I was expecting like a 16 inch smallie or something pretty nice. A freaking 27 inch walleye. Un freaking believable. Amazing, you guys. Oh my God, that freaking made my day. That made my freaking month out of this tiny river. There's a fish. Oh boy. Get this rod down so it's out of the tree. <laughs> I think it's a little northern or a little bass. I don't know for sure. And I'm getting sucked into the tree over here. It is a little pike. Usually when I catch a little pike like this, I'm pissed off. But in this little creek with these little lures, it's cool. Hey, little guy. 
All right. These little pike are pretty prevalent in this river. And obviously they're extremely well designed to live in this environment here. Just this little slender body, super quick. They can sit in these little places like along little logs and little weed beds and ambush minnows. And he wants to go back pretty bad. See you later, buddy. There we go. Oh, it's just a little northern, I think. Oh no, it's a little walleye. Wow. Right under this log jam here. Yeah, not quite a eater. <laughs> little too small to eat, guys, but nevertheless, very cool fish. Nice little walleye. Hope he grows up to be just like the one I caught earlier. Oh yeah, wow, look at that perch guys, We've got another species, freaking beast of a perch. Guys, you think that walleye I caught earlier would like to eat that perch? I guarantee it. Beautiful fish. I always got a leech on him. All right, buddy. Let's remove that nasty leech from you and let's let you go. All right. For some reason, this freaking leech will not come off. All right, whatever. We're letting you go with the leech on you. Mr. Perch releases the first perch I caught in a long time. Cool little catch. Right on the log there. There's one. Another walleye. Are you kidding me? <laughs> nice. Another little walleye in this wood pile. Get a little picture of him. What a handsome little fella he is. Huh. <sighs> that right back into the wood pile little buddy all right guys let's talk a little bit about my fishing trip today i had such a blast catching that walleye was so freaking awesome and i just something like that happens you're like man what uh, whatever made me decide to come and fish this small river this particular day to catch that walleye is just amazing it's so cool how that works out so i just want to go over some things with you guys um, what I caught these fish on. So I got two ultralight setups here. One is a 13 to 5 rod. This is a 6-7 medium light. So okay, it's not ultralight, it's medium light. And then a little 100 size Luz 
uh, Mach 2, 100 size spinning reel, 8 pound test, suffix nano braid on this one. And then I got a little MEPS little wolf spoon on there. This is a quarter ounce little wolf spoon. Was chartreuse, now that's kind of worn off, but it's still silver. And then, whoops, I got a little swivel on here. So this makes it so you don't get a bunch of twist in your line. So that's number one setup. Great little ultralight setup. This is not very expensive either. This reel was like 70 bucks and this rod was like 30. So $100 setup. This one is a 13 to five, and this one's a little bit shorter. This one's six foot medium light. Um, I got eight pound test Daiwa J braid on here, and then I have a eight pound test suffix siege leader. And then I got a little VMC jig head with a moxie plastic on here. This is what that big wall I came on. And that big wall I came in a little area. Um, most of this river is pretty shallow, like a foot or two. It came in this little area that's probably like a three foot or so deep pocket and there was some sunken logs there. So I'm guessing he's sitting there in those logs just getting ready to ambush. And I'm out here at one o'clock in the day, guys. It's not like I woke up super early to hit that walleye bite or I'm out here late at night. This is the middle of the day. But in these little rivers like this, these fish feed all the time. There's a lot of overhanging trees and stuff. So the, those walleyes always have shade. And when you get to the really shallow, fast moving parts, this water is really clear. But when you are then like the slower moving, more uh, stained water, it's dark. Those walleyes will eat all day long. So hopefully this video taught you guys a couple of things. Don't overlook small rivers. And uh, even though they're shallow, even though they're small, they can hold some big fish. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully I kind of gave you some ideas or some tips on what kind of gear to use and how to catch these fish. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll be trying to bring you some more awesome content like this in the future. And not just showing you, oh, hey, look at this cool fish I caught, guys. Let's go fishing and just show you all these cool fish I catch. I want to actually give you guys some knowledge, teach you guys some things on what to use, where to look for these fish, and how to catch them. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you next time.